What's up everyone, Blaze back with another video here. Uh, as we get ever closer to the impending potential apocalypse, if you ask some, that, uh, and hey, I'm smiling because that's not a bad thing to me, right? You look at the world around us and what everything has become and um, the apocalypse doesn't sound so bad. But anyways, that's what's coming, if you ask some, with this coming Monday's uh, total solar eclipse in the United States. And we're going to talk about that a little bit more. And we're going to talk about a weird condition that the news has been um, forewarning people uh, that they may get as a side effect of said eclipse. Really weird stuff. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unpack it all. But first off, I want to say thank you guys for sticking around here on the channel, uh, formerly known as Wrestling Insight as you know, we're, we're getting through this rebrand over into a more general, uh, broad range of topics. I don't want to be hindered and limited to pro wrestling anymore. And I don't have much love for pro wrestling anymore. And I, you know, I explained that in the, um, the first video, uh, after rebranding from Wrestling Insight. So, I want to say thank you guys for sticking around. The views are down. You can look at the view history. Um, you know, people people aren't clicking the content as much. Or YouTube just has decided not to push it as much, one or the other. But anyways, to those that are still here, I just want to say thank you. And, um, you know, I've said it. I've said it before a few times. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to try to... This gives me the freedom with this new video style to pump out more content. It's, it's much easier, uh, much, much, uh, less tiresome work schedule putting these together than, um, than how we were doing things before and, and, and covering, you know, being limited, having to, uh, you know, find and study topics in pro wrestling to cover. But, um, yes, uh, you know, we're going to try to build this channel back up under the new format. If you're watching and you're not subscribed yet, please, please do. Thank you uh, ahead of time for doing so. Uh, trying to get to 5,000 subs and um, your help would be greatly appreciated. Uh, also, like the, uh, like the video for me, please, if you could. Again, YouTube's not pushing me as much, so any help in the algorithm that I can get. So um, likes, comments, also much appreciated. But let's get into today's topic. As, as we're, what now? As I film this, we're about two days exactly away from the eclipse. And we're going to see if the conspiracies were right. And if something huge goes down. But there's something in particular that I want to talk about today. And that's this weird demon face syndrome. That um, the news is warning people that they may suffer from uh, after this eclipse. I'm going to throw some pictures up here of what a person with demon face syndrome looks like and, and let you guys get a good good view of that, right? Um, weird. And, and and why is it called demon face syndrome? Unless it's actual demons possessing these people and the eclipse is going to lift the veil, I guess you could say, and um, restore our abilities to spot these kind of um, spirits, right? Weird stuff. I'll tell you this, I don't think it's a syndrome. I don't think that there, that, that it's a sickness at all. Um, I think it's definitely the veil lifting. It may be those superpowers that we spoke about in the last video one of those superpowers that we're talking about uh, may come back online for us and if all of this sounds crazy to you i guess this may be the wrong channel for you i hope it's not you know stick with me here and maybe some of this will start um catching on and not sounding so absurd but we're going to keep on with this and we're going to we're going to stay on track here with the demon face syndrome 
Do I think that um, it's actual demons? I mean, yeah, I think it's... I'm very much so a believer in the spiritual world. So yes, I believe that that could be um, the effects of a, you know, evil spirit taking over. And um, that's the kind of people that usually need to see an exorcist and do. I think that's exactly what it may be. If you ask me, I'm, I'm not going to state anything with a hundred percent certainty. I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying I think. I will say the thing that just blows my mind the most is the similarities between this demon face syndrome. We'll throw it up there again. And um one of my favorite songs and music videos of all time, Soundgarden's Black Hole Sun, Chris Cornell's uh, masterpiece. And uh, Demon Face Syndrome looks an awful lot like most of the people that were in that Black Hole Sun video. We're going to, you know, we're going to put some pictures up here from that video now. Even weirder than the similarities is the fact that uh, that song is named Black Hole Sun and is about the eclipse or Planet X, Nibiru, um, whatever you want to term it, right? That whole song is a love letter to the apocalypse and to the return of Planet X, Nibiru. What is it that most conspiracy theorists these days will tell you is happening Monday? Not, not an eclipse. Most that have done their research will say that um, the, the moon's not going to be blocking the sun at all on that day. It's planet X. That's what most believe. That's what I kind of believe right now. And his song... Uh, Black Hole Sun was a complete love letter uh, to the day that that happens. And, and and the whole video is spent with him looking up into the sky, the whole band looking up into the sky and asking uh, Source, Nature, God to bring on the Black Hole Sun and uh, cleanse this society that has been just destroyed with, um, you know, greed and lust and uh, perversion and lies. So the timing with um, this, this demon face syndrome stuff coming out into the news and um, the fact that we're heading into the total solar eclipse here in the U.S. on Monday and that... Um, the two are being, um, you know, linked to each other is wild, man. It is wild. And it, and it, and it leads further connections to, um, to that Chris Cornell and Soundgarden video, man. Oh man, guys. Um, hmm, what can I say? What can I try to do to, to unpack that? Do I think that Chris Cornell, uh, was maybe some kind of profit. It's possible. It's very possible. Um, I think that anyone that got that high up in the entertainment business, and let's be honest, in, in the cult that it is and was, they probably knew a lot. Chris knew a lot, no doubt. You know, you, you'll have to you have to keep in mind things like um, Project Looking Glass that they're said to have had this whole time. They had Project Looking Glass so they could see into the future and that's how they could, you know, outplay everyone and, and control everyone is their fact to see into the future. But 
One thing that you cannot change, and they tried to change and they're trying to prevent this even to this day. One thing that you cannot prevent is the black hole sun, is the return of Nibiru, because it happens um, in cycles. And this is not the first time that it's happened. It won't, well, maybe it'll be the last time. Yeah, I'm going to say maybe maybe this will be the last time and, and we're going to uh, forever uh, live in harmony and peace, right? After this all goes down. Uh, it's wild. It's wild, man. I've watched that Black Hole Sun video, music video, a lot lately. Just trying to decipher it and and try to see what the true message is and all of that. But, yeah, I think that demon face syndrome is real. And I think that as time goes on, more and more people are going to start seeing. I see, I, I, I see a handful of people already on social media claiming to be able to see these faces. Some say that, that, it, that they've been able to see it for years. That was very smart of them to keep it to themselves. I don't think anybody would have um, understood you know, five years ago or so. But I've watched Soundgarden's Black Hole Sun video a lot. And um, if what's in that video holds true after this apocalypse, after this uh, judgment day, we're going to be left with a much, much uh, more beautiful land uh, and, and, and um, reality. I'll throw up a picture of after... Uh, the eclipse passes, or the black hole sun rather passes, uh, on the on the music video, and he's left with just a beautiful surroundings, flowers everywhere. Right, that's kind of what I feel like we're gonna experience after all of this is over. This may be the last video that I do before Monday and before all of this takes place, and I want to say this. Even if nothing visually and obviously changes in your reality, in all of our reality Monday, even if no huge event goes down, you know, people don't get special powers and none of that happens, it's very significant and you will see the effects afterwards. Because everything is continuing to speed up more and more and more and more and more. We're already seeing things before the eclipse even takes place. Lightning striking the Statue of Liberty. And then, I believe it was the very next day. If not the very next day, a couple of days later, New York City gets hit with uh, earthquakes. There's been earthquakes in several other um, areas of the world as well reported. And it leads further credence to the theories that this is Judgment Day approaching us. Not a bad thing though, guys. There's nothing to worry about. Right now, my advice would be, and here's what I'm going to do. As far as the eclipse goes from this moment on, the next two days. I'm not worried about it, man. They can continue to try their bullcrap. They can paint the skies with clouds. They can manipulate weather. They can cause pre-planned disasters publicity stunts, and anything else that they want to do to try to invoke fear and uh, turmoil and, and anxiety and sadness. But ain't none of it going to work on me, man. None of it. So I'm not worried about uh, what Monday brings because I know that 
as a whole, we are moving towards an all new reality, guys. There's no way of denying it now. Absolutely no way you can deny it. We are most certainly heading towards a completely new way of living and a new way of looking at life. That's what's going on, guys. Something that is natural and was always going to be no matter what. This, this evolution of humanity and our, our ways of thinking. That's what all of this is about. Nothing else. The prosperity of humanity. Anyways, guys. The countdown rages on. I'm excited. Are you excited? Let me know in the comments what you're feeling as we uh, as we approach April the 8th. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, as always, please give me the thumbs up and um, maybe hit the bell if you haven't. So you're notified every time I drop a new video like this. I, I've got a lot of them in the works. Also, if you have a, a video idea, if you have something that you would like for me to talk about in the future, let me know that as well in the comments. Anyways, until next time, guys, take good care of yourselves. Hold the light. No fear. No worries. Only happiness, man. Good things are coming. Things are changing, and it's going to be great. Until next time, take care.